You know what's very important? Cell phones. That's right. They help us communicate with people. They pretty much talk to anyone around the world. But then there's emojis. Snipping emojis. No one ever done in many years that that will be turned into a film. But <laughs> you are wrong. You are so deadly wrong. Hold up. Hey guys, Mr. Hollywood, and you know what? I'm just gonna cut the intro. I had a script for this, but forget it, you know, because this movie doesn't deserve the script. This movie doesn't deserve the title of movie. In fact, this isn't even a review. This is a more rant review, pretty much, on the flipping emoji movie. Just sent me a text. Addie McAllister? What should I say? Just play it cool. Welcome to the world inside your phone, where everyone is expected to act one way their whole life. Aw, snap! Ow. My name is Gene, and I'm supposed to be a meh. Meh. You know, like, meh, who cares? But my problem is, I have more than one emotion. Check this out. Huh? Huh? Son, please tell me you weren't laughing just now. Oh, I'm never eating another piece of candy ever again. High five, don't do it. Don't you do it, it's already been in there once. <sighs> what do we do after we go potty? Should we wash our hands? <laughs> We're, We're number, number two. two. Okay, first off, you're probably wondering what this movie is about. Oh, you probably don't care. But for those who do care about the emoji movie, I'll give you guys the spiel. See, this movie takes place on an iPhone. Yeah, they went there. And there's um, an app called Emoji Troubleness or something like that. So we find that this character by the name of Gene, who's voiced by TJ Menno. So this movie is pretty much about Gene being a mad emoji. He wants to be a mad emoji, but he really can't because he has all these different personalities. So what do you think he would do? We're pretty much going to Venso with pretty much two of his unlikely allies. High five and jailbreak. I wish I was making this up. They go across the phone, get it across the phone, to see if they can make Gene other than a meh emoji. And well, <laughs> and on the way, they meet a psychotic villain by the name of Smino, voiced by Maya Rudolph. After I gave you guys like the whole spiel of the storyline, what did I actually think about the emoji movie? Now, before you guys get into a big fit, let me just say that I have two pros about this film. The animation is pretty decent. I mean, it's nothing to write home about. And today, you know, when did they get annoying? It's actually the only one that's actually pretty good. But that's about it. All with the cons, because oh my gosh, there's a type of not a con in this film. If you guys have seen this movie, you guys know. They travel to many different apps. Oh, by the way, spoiler note, but who cares? You're not going to see this movie. You're probably just watching my rant about the, about the trash heap movie that you probably never was planning on reviewing or seeing the emoji movie. By the way, this movie is about an hour and 31 minutes long, but you'll be wasting an hour and a half if you actually watch this piece of crap. Like I have. So, yeah. Um, the Emoji Movie. story that's very uninspired and unoriginal and very predictable. Characters that are very hateable. And plus, it makes you question while you're in a the movie there for 90 minutes of your life. I mean, so kids might enjoy this. Actually, no, I take that back. Kids will not enjoy this film. I don't know who will enjoy this film. This movie gets an F for me. It's an F to fail. If you've seen the emoji movie, which I hope you have it, 
write down comments below what you think about the emotion movie. I Oh my gosh, I can't even finish this review. You know what? Review's over. Review's done. I I'm done. I I'm done. I'm freaking done. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Just, I'm out.